Yo, what's up guys and welcome along to a review on the 92 rated Prime Hugo Sanchez. So I packed this card in Tradable about three weeks ago now and uh, yeah I've tested them in quite a lot of games. Um, so yeah I'll, I'll let you know how, how good he is for me. So as you can see yeah I'm just going to show you the fresh version uh, when I first packed them so I don't spoil the record or anything like that. So just look on the face value, You've got very nice stats, shooting, passing and dribbling all very high. and. Uh, it's four star weak foot and three star skills straight away the three star skills is not ideal and he's at a good height of five, five foot nine which is what you like to see as you can see these stats are amazing apart from one stat 60 composure why i do not know why EA gave him 60 composure i was so hyped when i got this card and then when i saw it yeah i was like ah oh, no and um it does have an impact in game which i'll go into more detail when we actually get into the clips but um yeah, it, it unfortunately does take back from the card, unfortunately, because if he didn't have that, then he'd literally be so good, so much better. Um, but anyway, going to the clips, we'll start off with the positives. And the first positive for him is his posi positioning. He, his positioning is incredible. Like, literally, it is one of the, some of the best positioning I've seen. I think most icons seem to have this, where they just seem to be, they pop up at the right place to get those like sweaty tap-ins or whatever, and he definitely has that for sure. Obviously, you don't need composures to score tap-ins, so um, yeah, composures, it's only really relevant in certain, certain situations. As you can see here, it's not really relevant there, it's just sweats it inside for Mbappe. Look at that goal from Mbappe, by the way. Obviously, not related to the review, but Mbappe is incredible. If you're looking for a striker, buy Mbappe. Uh, yeah. So yeah, and his, his price on the market, um, the Sanchez card, I think it's about 1.1 mil when I last checked on uh, both stations, uh, Xbox and PlayStation. So yeah, it's, it's both consoles. So it's, it's, it's quite a substantial amount. Um, I'll, I'll tell you at the end whether I think he's worth it, um, obviously because it's a very, very high amount. Um, anyway, the next pro I want to talk about with him is his um, finesse shots. To be fair to this uh, Figo Sanchez, his finesse, shot, his, uh, the, uh, the finesse shots are amazing. Um, on the edge of the box, like, not quite as good as that messy level, but they are like very good. Uh, the next thing is his dribbling. His dribbling is really good. Um, gets the ball very nice to his feet or whatever, and uh, yeah, very agile on the ball. And then the next thing is his passing. If you look here, what a pass there, and uh, great finish from Ben Yedder there as well. His passing is definitely um, definitely a big positive for the card. And, um, quite a lot of strikers have quite low passing so to have a striker with a decent like good, good the passing is, is quite um quite a unique thing to have so yeah that's very nice again as you can see here his positioning coming in here in clutch he's always in the right position the next thing is his heading he, he has very high heading on the card but um because he's quite small i don't think it's really that relevant moving on to the cons now composure you've got to mention it is it a, is it a big con unfortunately yes it is one on one with the keeper this guy should be able to score nine, out of, nine times out of ten, but he won't, unfortunately. I didn't get enough clips of him missing. I haven't got any, actually, but, uh, which is bad of me, but yeah. Um, do you believe me? He, he does not score everything, unfortunately, so yeah. And then the next thing would be his strength and also his stamina. They're not they're not amazing. But they're not as big as the composure in terms of, like, drawbacks for the card, but, um, yeah, again, they're not, they're not brilliant, so, so yeah. So is, is Hugo Sanchez worth it? Absolutely not, unfortunately. 1.1 to 1.2 million coins, definitely not. You can buy Mbappe and Neymar for that same price combined, and they will return way more than this card. If, it, if he was, I think 400k would be a reasonable price for him, but over 1 mil, uh uh, do not buy him for that price. Unfortunately for me, he is untradeable, but uh, I'm not saying he's a bad card, by the way. I'm just saying that he doesn't give you um, enough return for, for his price because of the composure and. Um, things like that so so yeah overall good card just not worth the coins anyway so thanks for watching guys until next time goodbye